Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Esther is here and today I have a really special video for you guys. I'm gonna show you um, all the art supplies I'm using uh, when I travel outside of my studio. And I already did a video that called a sketchbook tour when I go through some of the essential art supplies for sketching while I'm traveling and I will link it down below. But as I was like going through and like um, you guys were asking and other questions, I found out that I didn't cover everything. Um, in that video because it was uh, kind of about just like, when you travel for short trips and how to do like sketches with watercolor and gouache and it's really like light version but today I want to cover in more details different approaches to the traveling with your art and different techniques as well so stay tuned so there is two parts into it uh, I will go again just shortly about what you use when you travel for a short period of time or what do you bring if you just go outside and in your town or if you travel for like a couple days trip somewhere and I usually just um... so the most essential things I carry every day in my backpack it's this pocket size sketchbook and I don't expect anything here to be spectacular or extremely you know, professional because it's just um, small, simple sketches I do on the go. Yeah, so this one is free to light and it's really, really small, which helps a lot. And I usually carry like a small bag of couple brushes. Um, let's see what we have here. So it's basically a couple liners, couple brushes, couple gel pens, um, razor, tissue razor, uh, water refillable brush. So basically, you can pretty much fit everything you need like for a day and for like quick sketches uh, easily in your, any of your bags and or your backpack. It's, it's not a big deal. So these are just supplies I carry every day in my bag and now I'm gonna go over what I do if I travel long term or if I uh, know that I will be like out of my studio for like two, three months maybe or even a month or if I'm going to a different country, how I handle um, being away um, from the studio and what are essentials in like studio setup you can make at every place you go. So if I'm going for like couple weeks trip or like longer, up to a month, I will probably be... I will... <laughs> uh, if I travel for two, three weeks or longer, like up to a month, I will probably bring like a bigger size um, uh, pencil bag, which will have a bigger variety of gel pens and all kinds of brushes and all kinds of markers and liners and just so I have everything I want. So it's not happens that I arrive at some place and I realize that I don't have enough. So I love to have it's like in the hotel room or wherever I'm staying. I love to have bigger variety and then every day I just basically choose what they're gonna uh, carry with me in this day. Okay, the reason I'm moving because I have all my stuff stored down here and I will show you it just in a minute. Uh, so the next thing, if I travel like longer, like a couple of weeks, it's already uh, an opportunity to bring a watercolor kit that I probably will show you and it's like portable so you can use it on the go and it's it's pretty safe you can carry it in the airplane and yeah it's it's not that heavy it's heavier like to carry everything in your backpack but um, 
if you go for a couple weeks and you're planning on staying somewhere, it's definitely worth taking this with you. And now for the extended traveling version. As you see, this bag is full of stuff. And yeah, it's it's pretty huge. But in the same time, it's actually really handy thing because it fits a lot and you can fill all your supplies and brushes and markers um, like in all these pockets and you can I usually uh, also carry like bigger size of sketchbook if I'm traveling for a longer time I can really briefly show you a couple sketches I did in Prague a couple weeks ago um, so this one so it just like for longer trips, bigger sketchbooks works better for me. And the other option, it's like this roll that you can fit all your brushes. <laughs> I love brushes. Um, so this one I'm using when I'm going like for a couple months somewhere, like if I'm visiting uh, my parents that live on the other side of the country and I know that I'm gonna spend like at least two months uh, there and it's like a seaside, you know, like it's better climate there so it's really nice to spend um, the whole summer on the beach and it's really easy to um, like to handle like bigger variety of art supplies because uh, you just stay in one place all the time and you can uh, pretty much create a studio space wherever you're staying if it's like gonna be one place. Also I love using this plastic uh, pad. Uh, I think it's really perfect if you don't like uh, working on in the sketchbook but you like to do separate sketches on different mixed media paper. So what it does, you basically can um, clip any type of paper in here and it gives you like hard service so you can easily um, do it everywhere and you have like this platform wherever um, and it's just easier in general. Some people love to carry canvases as well everywhere. I don't can't imagine doing this uh, all the time but Sometimes it could be a really interesting experience, but you have to think in advance, like how, if, especially if you're going abroad, how you're gonna bring um, this view back and how you're gonna do that, and if it's wet, because oil um, can dry a really long time. You just wanna be uh, like planning all these things in advance and be thoughtful about it because you don't wanna um, be messing with wet paint in the plane or in the bus. So think about it. Okay, so the next thing for me will be a portable easel. I think it's really important. I love to bring um, a small easel with me even if I'm just going somewhere like for planner painting like a weekend and in that case I can bring my big one but as I'm like going abroad or traveling like more long term I love uh, using my portable ones and this is how it comes in this um, folder. So you can see it can be easily carried in, even in carry-on, on the plane or in luggage. It's, I think, about like one kilo, so it's it's really light. And I actually can... So it basically looks like a tripod for the camera, but it has like all the fixators and um, I don't know how all this construction calls but it's pretty much just light version of an, of an artist easel. So basically having this construction that folds together and really small when you actually fold it it's really handy uh, and you create and you can easily create your work art area everywhere. The note about them by the way, um, something you have to think about is that it's perfect 
for the studio area and indoors and sometimes it could work outdoors as well but only if it's no wind because if it's like windy weather and you're painting somewhere in the like let's say on the sea coast or wherever it can just be blown away with all your art to the sea or wherever so it's really uh, useful and handy and it's light and perfect for traveling with but it's not gonna survive the bad weather for sure so maybe it's not the best decision for the plein air painting so the more stable construction will be this type of easel it's a wooden box basically and um, let's see if I can open this so basically it's this type of wooden box with all the compartments that you can uh, fill with paint and brushes and everything um, you want to fill it with and then it has um, a place where, where you fix the legs and it's more stable in any weather I used it for my I used this one for so many years in two of my art schools, traditional art schools, and I loved it. It's really heavy though, it's not a best feeling to carry it uh, all day, even if it's just your own town and you're not traveling, like because you, have, you carry a backpack and you carry this stuff and you just, I don't know, it's not it's aesthetic, like it's artist aesthetic, but it's, it's really heavy and probably they're not the best solution also like to go on the plane or like, I don't know, it just, it's a perfect version for maybe like traveling in the car or just in your town, something like that would be perfect. And again, just want to say that don't overpack but think really carefully of what you actually want to bring because you don't want to find yourself miles and miles away from home uh, just realize that you don't have the most essential things you're using in your art process think it carefully, choose the most important things for you and I'm pretty sure you can create your own small studio space or art environment everywhere you go and yeah, it could sound a little bit overwhelming with all of this stuff, but it's just a solution. If you want to travel and you want to do art on the go, that's what you do. I hope it was helpful and I want to hear from you guys what is your the most essential traveling art supplies and what do you like to bring with you when you go somewhere and if it's important for you to be doing art when you're not in your studio. And as summer is approaching and everyone is getting plans for all the vacations and trips, I hope uh, you can find a way to be creative in this season and maybe experience a little bit more with painting outdoors and you will be surprised how fun it can be and not overwhelming at all and I hope you can enjoy this time especially and yeah, I hope these tips will help you a little bit and see you guys in next video. Bye bye!